<laughs> and we are ready to get this party started up. All righty, family. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, truly, truly appreciate your listening. Truly appreciate your time. Uh, thank you guys once again for having your cameras on. And uh, I would tell you, uh, take some notes. Definitely take take some take it so you can actually implement this stuff, right? Like that's the main intention of the content creator mastermind. The intention is that you guys are learning and implementing, right? Taking action. That way this could impact your real estate business and you're building yourself as the brand, right? Because I think that that's the biggest thing that we, we have um, to do as real estate professionals is to become the brand, right? We definitely want to become the brand because at the end of the day, when you develop your brand, then you could build up multiple, multiple businesses, like multiple ventures. And as long as you keep yourself centered around being the brand, you're going to be in a really good position for whatever it is that you want to do, right? If you wanted to do coaching, you want to do leadership, if you want to do obviously developing and any other aspect, right? You got to be the brand. And on a weekly basis, guys, I am uh, committed to bringing you guys extraordinary people that are crushing it on social media. And, you know, last week we had uh, Marco Chades, uh, which, you know, on HGTV, almost over a million followers on social. We got a, a great, great time and learned a lot from them. And uh, this week we have uh, Sammy Burha, and uh, he's actually one of our EXP agents as well. He just recently started up with us. He's newer into the real estate industry as well, but he's a, he has amassed a huge 11 million uh, fan following on, on social media, right? So I'm going to read his bio here just so you guys can get a little more related to Sammy. So um, Sammy, they are an Arab American family of 10 who rose to fame through our shared TikTok account. We are known for sharing relatable family comedy and lifestyle content. Hi, you can come in. We have, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> we, we have more than 11 million fans on TikTok. We began posting TikTok as a means to cope with the boredom amidst the coronavirus pandemic. Social media star who is best recognized with uh, for Sammy Furha TikTok account, where I post comedy and dance videos, often involving my family, which I absolutely love. They're, they're amazing. Uh, <laughs> my, my fans have boosted me over 370,000 followers on TikTok and amassed a following of over 130,000 on his Instagram account and launched his TikTok account in March of 2020. They, to get that, guys, right? Like, it's only been three years, basically, right, since that happened, so... Um, he often appears on the Furha family YouTube channel where he and his family and siblings post challenges, blogs, Q&A videos, and they have over 4 million subscribers on YouTube, right? So, uh, Sammy, thank you so much for being here, bro. Thank you for, for uh, showing up, man. And I'm excited to hear from you today, brother. What an introduction. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Dude. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. So, I think the way that we're going to get started this, you know, this uh, mastermind, I want to start off by first, we could, like, obviously we heard 4 million followers, a million, 11 million fans. I'm like, oh my God, like, how do you do that? Right. So just take us back to the, the beginning, bro. Okay, cool. You were there, the beginning of the pandemic, you guys. So how did this idea even come about? How did they all tell, run us down through the story? All right. So funny, funny, funny thing. Uh, so my sister, right, uh, she posted like a video on TikTok and it got some like 100,000 views like at a Home Depot or something like she did a little funny skit at Home Depot and she got 100,000 views. And then my whole family looked at that and we were like, wow, that's shocking. Like, how did you get that? Like that many views? Like it, we're just like out, outstanding. Like it was crazy. But anyways, we seen that. So we all pretty much downloaded the app, TikTok, all started posting, posting like together, like together, but not, not together as a family, but like just our single accounts and stuff, just trying to see if we could get like that 100,000 views my sister got. It was just, it was just crazy, like just to think about, wow, that's 100,000 people seeing your video, you know what I mean? So one day it was it wasn't quite working for us like us on our single accounts you know what i mean right so we all for, like collectively like did a, a family video together oh shoot sorry 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 brother i think i muted you hold on one second sammy i had i was muting a couple of other people and i accidentally muted you there we go okay we're back. We're, are we back <laughs> yeah you're back <laughs> awesome so uh like we got together as a family we posted one video like around corona time 
Do you know how uh, your coughing was sensitive around Corona times? Like, oh, if you cough, you oh, bro, it was so like, get out of my way. <laughs> it was so weird. It was so weird, man. Like, you know, you if, if you had to, I had literally had to step out of places. I'm like, let me step outside. No, have nobody see me. It was so weird. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, uh, we did this funny video where everyone was uh, sitting in the family room and like my dad was sleeping. And um, so somebody like pretends to cough. And then my dad wakes up like an aggression and he says, who coughed? Like who just coughed? Right. And then we all started pointing at each other. And then uh, we all just took off as he chased us like across the family room. And it was just a funny video. And it took off for like 2 million views. Wow. And ever since that video, our family account has taken off. Like each day we haven't missed a beat. Like we are very consistent when we post our timings on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, et cetera. Like all these platforms, we are very consistent and, and we post every day. And we've post every day since that video. And that's how we've, uh, that's how we grew like such a big following is because we're really consistent in what we post and what right. timing that we, we really focus on relatable moments with families, and just what appeals to us, you know what I mean? What appeals to the outside world? I think a lot of people like us because they they see that we're, we're a close-knit family, that we love each other, and they just, they love the bond. They really love to yeah. see the bond. I love the I love the hugging stuff that you do. Right? Like, let, let, like, what kind of reaction am I going to get when I hug my cousin? Yeah. My dad, right? <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, like, and then, you know, it's just... The, and then it, it helped us to grow our own business as well. So in the first, we we're just doing it as fun. You know what I mean? Like just posting the, for fun and stuff. But a lot of brands came to us because we were family friendly. Like we've worked with brands like AT&T, Honda, Lay's Potato Chips, Target, Walmart. We've worked with uh, really big brands, Fortune uh, 500 companies. Like they come to us all the time so it, it really helped grow our business like just by the out the uh, outreach and showing the people our people are our loving family is just amazing how we were supposed to how we were able to do that so yep it love was just, that man yeah so it, it just has been amazing and i I've, I've i've i came to exp looking to branch out and see if if other real estate like real estate if i could grow my business through real estate through my social media platform I've only, I've, it's only been a couple of months I've already had a lot of inquiries. So it's been amazing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're able to repurpose your content. You just have to fine tune it obviously to be a little more real estate related and, and introducing it in a funny way. Cause I think that the, everybody knows you guys as authentic, very loving. So introducing it from that perspective and, you know, just uh, if you could give some advice to like, and we could start off by like, all right, cool. Everybody in here, wants to amass a large following, wants to build their personal brand, what are the key things that you think that they should be doing um, to really, you know, get themselves going? Well, first thing I would say is just post, right? Yeah. Post, post, you have to start with posting. <laughs> yep. And then you have to start uh, with being consistent. That's one for sure. Be consistent when you post. Try to repurpose that video on four or five platforms like you guys you guys are missing out like there's there's videos you could post on youtube shorts now facebook reels had just came out with the option where you could post on facebook reels and instagram reels that's three uh that's three platforms right there then we have tiktok then you have you could upload on snapchat as well but all those platforms you have a more of a reach like real the reels they give you they give you an option to get like they show your what was that Sorry, no, there was somebody that unmuted. There okay, we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, so it just, the, and then you just be yourself. Be yourself, be original, be natural. Be natural, you know, and, you know, it, it can help a lot. It can really help a lot. Yeah. And then I would say use, use people around you too. Have people help you posting, ask questions, see what works, you know what I mean? See what works and see what doesn't work. Say if this video got a thousand views, okay, that's better than my video that got 200 views. Let's keep, let's keep that same concept. You know what I mean? Let's mm. work off of that a little bit. That, that could help you a lot uh, in growing your business and your social media platforms.
Love that. Perfect. So posting for sure. Posting, being consistent, repurposing the content, YouTube shorts, Facebook reels, Instagram reels, Snapchat. I actually haven't used Snapchat in a long time. So <laughs> Snapchat also- has spotlight now. Oh, okay. Got it's it. Snapchat spotlight. Got it. Got it. What do you like about uh, Snapchat spotlight? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so you can make any video, like pretty much <laughs> you can make any video and it could get paid. Mm. It, you can get paid from it. Uh, if it does like a certain amount of views, you can actually get uh, monetized from posting on Snapchat, just re uploading your fo- your videos or just posting directly from the Snapchat camera. And if you see something cool, just I say record it and post it. You know what I mean? You never know what can happen. You could mm. get paid like like there's when they came out with the platform about a couple of years ago, Snapchat Spotlight. I want to say it was a year or a year and a half ago, two years ago. I can't remember, but this person that was one of the first persons to post on Snapchat. They posted one snap. They were paying a million dollars a day on Snapchat Spotlight. They posted one video and they made, I want to say $800,000 off of one video they posted on Snapchat Spotlight. It wow. was a, like a large sum of money. And then and I didn't believe it at first. Like, I didn't believe it. And my dad was like, here, post on Spotlight. This is that they coming out. He's seen an article. I said, okay, let me just try it out. Because I seen some lady, uh, some girl, her name's Katie Feeney. She made like a million dollars in a month just posting wow. on, on Spotlight. Wow. So when I seen her article, I said, let me just jump on this spot, like the Spotlight real quick. And yep. just post, re-upload our family content on that. So when I did that, we got a couple notifications that paid big money, like big money, like for, uh, like we made a hundred thousand dollars in one month, just on posting on Snapchat spotlight. It was just amazing. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. A hundred thousand dollars off of one post. (laughs) Yeah. It was insane. It was insane. Snapchat spotlight was amazing back. It, It really, a lot of people know about it now, but Right when it came out, it, it was just an amazing thing. It changed a lot of people's lives. It really did. Damn, that's amazing. Okay, cool. So thank you for sharing that. So Snapchat Spotlight. Um, and what do you, I guess, in addition to the platforms and posting and obviously being authentic, um, what sort of apps do you utilize? Uh, what sort of things do you use to, do you guys do your edits yourselves? Do you have somebody else that does it? Like, how does that work for you guys? So uh, with our uh, with our regular TikTok videos and our, like our reels and stuff, we edit mostly ourselves because it's it's not very hard to edit like a like a say a thirty second video mm-hmm. as to like an eight minute video or like a 10, 15 minute video on YouTube like for vlogs or Q and A's or pranks. Uh, we have an editor that actually helps us with that, and he's actually really awesome. Like he's. He's amazing. I don't know if you've seen some of our YouTube videos, but our longer form videos, the edits are crazy, insane on that. I haven't, but, I haven't even taken a look at it. I've just seen your TikTok and your Instagram. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you should check it out uh, when you have a chance. But it, he, it takes a lot of time. The editing for YouTube, it, it, you know, it takes hours, hours. And these, these, our editor is amazing. So that's awesome. That's awesome, brother. Very cool, man. I think there's a couple of questions that people are posting in here. Um, uh, somebody asked, do you delete videos that don't perform well in regards to growing an account? Do you focus more on, on quality or quant or quad- quality or consistency? Like what is the main focus? I would main focus should be, uh, consistency. I say consistency is see, trying whatever works, trying right. to make, trying to make, like make, making a bunch of videos, like say if you did a video, like in real estate, like say if you, you uploaded a video, it didn't get so many views. It didn't get like 200 views and you, that didn't work. Then you uploaded the next day and you got a video that hit like five, 10,000 views or something like that. You know, what works now, what the people want to see. So why not try to incorporate something like that, but do it in a different way, right? Incorporate the same, same mm. approach about that video. You know what I mean? So yeah, I just want to say, keep consistency, keep it relatable as well too. Yeah. Relatable what is, key. You want what to about, Okay, go ahead. So, sorry, man. I was I, I Sorry about that. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, I know. It's so always going to ask you about time, right? Some people say you have to post at certain times. Do you guys do you guys follow like a routine where you guys are are 
posting on certain times for you guys to get the most engagement? Yes, we, we, well, we try to be consistent with our, our fans, right? Because we want to, we, we post a certain time, they come back on the platform a certain time, they expect the video to be posted that time. So mm. we won't, we won't, ever, we won't ever go off schedule. You know what I mean? We, we want to keep it consistent. And that's what works with us. You know, we hit millions of views, like, so we can't, we don't want to break, break something that doesn't, you know what I mean? Don't yeah, exactly. Break, keep doing break. what works. Yeah. Yep. What, what kind work. of schedule do you run? Like what, what is your schedule like uh, that you're running on a daily basis? So for uh, TikToks, we do uh, 2 p.m. We post every day, 2 p.m. For the YouTube side, we like to post in the, the mornings because that's when our, where our videos do best. Mm -hmm. And then we do sometimes twice on YouTube shorts because YouTube shorts, uh, they like it when you post more than once or twice a day. You know, they, they want people to post. They want to encourage people to post more. I, want, I would say that. But don't dis, don't get discouraged with the YouTube Shorts because YouTube <coughs> shorts, they want you to they want you to upload they want you to they want you to upload so if it doesn't go viral right away it will go viral if you're consistent just keep posting keep posting In one month two months you will see results perfect love that love that awesome man I'm yeah I'm definitely I am posting on all of those platforms and I'm repurposing a lot of my content man so I'm just I'm gonna I'm being consistent I'm running two videos a day so. Awesome. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So don't, don't, I would say, don't uh, say like, say if you posted a TikTok, TikTok video, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure you remove that watermark because you post it on Instagram reels because Instagram mm -hmm. reels will pick that up and they won't, they won't make your video go viral if it went viral on TikTok because it, you should, what you should do is you should remove the watermark before you post it on Instagram reels. Then you could just repurpose it in all platforms. That's what's, that's what we do pretty much. Okay. That's awesome, man. That's great. So you're, and do you, do you use a certain app to do the watermark? Cause I try to use one to remove I, a watermark and I have a website. I have a website you could use actually. Yeah. Everyone could use it. It's called sstick.com. Sstick.com. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. To remove watermarks. That's a really good hack, man. Okay. So it's S S S T I K dot I O actually. TIK.io. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Dot IO. Yeah. Right, I'm, I'm dropping it. I'm putting it in here. Thank you for sharing that. What other apps do you think are, are like absolutely essential for content creation? Uh, I would say that like Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Facebook, um, more of like editing apps, like editing, oh, editing apps. apps. Yeah. Editing. Oh, apps. Okay. Well, uh, the clips app, have you seen the mm -hmm. clips app Okay. On, on your phone, on your phone, there's a clips app. If you have a iPhone, you should use the clips app. That's what I use for uh, our videos to like, say, if you do different takes, mm -hmm. uh, different, uh, different sections of the video, you could, uh, crop it easier on the clips app on, uh, on the iPhone. Okay. Clip apps. All right. Perfect. Definitely took clips. note of that. Clips. All right. This cool. one, I believe, is, you see it's right there. All right. Yeah. We'll take a little screenshot of that. Very cool. And there was another, there was another question here. Um, yeah. And how are you, how are you now gearing your, your traffic towards uh, the real estate business? Like what are, I guess, are you already kind of drafting out what that looks like? Like what, what are you doing to incorporate? Awesome. So I, I'm going to our listings in the office, right? We are, we have nice listings in the office. So I went to the listing and I recorded a beautiful shot of the video, like of the home. It, it was amazing. Like, but I was in each frame because I don't, I want to build my brand through it. You know what I mean? I have to be in the frame. I have to be in the, the shot. Uh, but it, it did amazing. It did amazing. It had 150,000 views, like on TikTok. Amazing. Like, Sheesh. yeah, it's like, I'm actually happy it's working with me. You know what I mean? I, I was scared that it was going to work, but it's actually working because I'm making it fun. You know what I mean? I'm making it fun my own way. And they love to see that. The The people love to see it. And I've had inquiries and stuff. And uh, I built, I had a couple leads as well. I built a couple leads to it. So yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, maybe you oh. could you could pull up one of your accounts to kind of share us, like maybe share the video, what it looks oh, like. Awesome. Can I do yeah, that? I think that'll be really cool. 
And as as uh, Sammy's pulling this up, guys, if you guys want to post your any other questions, I know that there's a couple of more here that we will get to. So keep posting your questions. That way we could get the maximum value out of Sammy's time and everybody's time in here, because I'm sure that your question will contribute to the conversation, you know, for everybody. Yeah, this is so. a video I posted on TikTok. Can I send you the link or? Yeah, send it, send it to me or put it, put it in the, uh, yeah, put it in the chat. If you'd like, I can pull it up on my screen and then share it. Awesome. Let's see. You can put it in here in the chat. That way everybody can follow you as well. Is this the one where you guys were uh, like previewing the property and you kind of like, like fell over on the couch or is that, is that the different one? There was one that I saw that was pretty funny. Oh, did you want to do that one? Uh, I mean that, that whichever, no, the one that, the one that you talked though, I thought it was that one. So just, let's just do the one that you're, that you just said. You can pull it up here. One sec guys. Cool. 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 Wow. And then there was somebody here. I said, I posted a random video on December 21st that went viral 12 million views. Wow. And I grew my following on TikTok, but I haven't posted since because I feel everyone followed for that. Not real estate. Should I continue to post along that niche or gradually post real estate content? Sheesh, 12 million views. That's a lot of views. Sammy, I don't know if you want to take that question about like she had a video that went viral 12 million views oh yeah of course if, if you if it went 12 million views that's insane yeah yeah keep posting keep posting keep posting that same concept whatever video that was just re-upload it i'm trying to see what i could right here sorry guys i'm trying to paste this it's all good there it is all right let me see if i can pull it up on the screen Oh, yeah, everybody can see it. Let me share it. There it is. All right, let's see if this. Sammy, come check out this beautiful home we got in North Tulsa. We just flipped for two million dollars. Guys, come check it out. Sheesh. <laughs> you got the, that's dope and you got you're at the sun and they're on the sauna like hanging out <laughs> <laughs> i didn't hear the music behind it you didn't hear it i i came over for with me did you guys were you guys able to hear the music yes or no no ah what i don't know why oh it's probably because i have my microphone on that's what it what it is yeah sheesh all right it's in the link you guys can take a look at it i i think or if you want me do you want me to pull it up again i can try to take my mic off See, we see that uh, da, da, da. built in built in microphone. All right, let me see. Tell me if you guys can hear this. Hey guys, this is Sammy. Come check out this beautiful home it? we got in North Tustin. We just flipped for two million dollars, guys. Come check it out. You guys can hear this? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay, got it. Okay. There any more though? There you go. Yeah. Hey guys. All right. Perfect. 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 Awesome. And how do you how do you select? Also, by the way, like that was that was really cool. Is there any special ca uh, camera equipment that you use? Like uh, music? Like how did you pick that? Tell walk us through how you created that. Awesome. So I recorded on 0.5 on my camera roll and I just recorded each scene, a different take of each uh, section of the property. And uh, it wasn't much. To, and I edited on the Clips app, you know, and I I, well, I did my edits on the TikTok app as well. I, I put the, I put some really uh, wholesome music behind it lightly. And uh, and I put the just the, the, the listing in, instructions. So it, it turned out really well, actually. And I just I just posted another one right here on the on the chat. If you see it, Leo, did you see it? 
Yeah, let me see it right here. All right, let me do that again really quick. That does happen in real estate. So that that is for sure a good piece of content because that is something that everybody can relate to in the business, right? I, I think all of us have had a deal that everything is you know going going smoothly. <laughs> we're gonna get keys, and all of a sudden, wham! You get somebody. Why oh, I just bought a car? Like you did what? <laughs> you did not just buy a car right now. <laughs> I'm like, why did you do that? That's cool, man. That's awesome, brother. Thank you for sharing that. So there was a another. Do, Somebody asked about hashtags. Do you do you recommend any any hashtags or like how do you use hashtags? Like tell us about that if if anything. Uh, you can throw a couple hashtags if it makes you feel better, but I don't I don't I don't really I don't really see much difference. You know what I mean? If using hashtags or not using hashtags. Uh, but you you don't really need hashtags, by the way. But Instagram, on another hand, I think you might need a hashtags. So use a couple hashtags here and there um for instagram but i don't know about the other platforms i i not really yep yep you know what what i'm really getting out of this i mean it's which is really amazing like you're just you're you're you you're being you right like your your family like you guys are in you're good you're just showcasing who you guys are and utilizing the platform and then obviously infusing it with you know now you got real estate plugged into it so you're infusing that but it's still it's still you. You're still being you everywhere you go. Awesome. So I think for everybody listening here, you guys got to really dial in. Okay, what do you guys naturally do every day, right? What are you guys? And Segun does a really good job of doing that as well. I see his videos all the time. He's over there. He's kind of breaking down. He's like, oh my God, I had a client that is like, da, 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 right? Like, so it's just like, he's just being himself, right? But it's engaging, right? People are seeing that over and over. But um, yeah, man, if you could share a little bit more about that, brother, like, you know, you guys got to, freaking awesome video that kind of took off and everything but let's if you can keep sharing about that kind of like the methodology the mindset of like what the, what kind of mindset they need to have you know to really crush it well you have to have like a shark mindset like you have to be the one that out there trying to freaking eat you know what i mean you want to you want to you want to post you want to make the money you want to eat you know what i mean you got to be the lion in the jungle you know what i mean you have to freaking post every day don't miss a day if you really want to grow in this business you really have to post every day post be consistent be really consistent post once at, at least once a day it won't take you what about 20 30 30 minutes just to post out of your day like 10 minutes why not just post guys like it, it really will help you in your business it will it will help you gain leads because people are on their phones 98 percent of the time these 99 percent of, of, of their daily life they're on their phone you know so if they could if you're on if you're on their page they're gonna be they're gonna have to call you then you know what i mean they have to they have to click your page they have to inquire about what is what is this guy doing why does he keep popping up on my my feed right you mm -hmm. know so they're gonna get sick here and they're gonna love you you know what i mean but the key the key is to stay in that that lion mentality, like you want to eat, you got, you got to, you got to, you got to go for the, you got to go for everything. The zebras, you got to chase some zebras. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It totally makes sense. You got to be the lion. You got to, you got to go out and hunt and you got to be intentional. Um, there was another question here about, um, and I think Richard, yeah, he asked about the game plan as far as reposting content that starts on YouTube, distributed TikTok, And does your content flow so that way it's easy to post and repurpose right and i think you kind of addressed that earlier right it's a little bit if you want if there was anything else to share about that so we we, we start off by posting it on tiktok then repurposing it on ig reels facebook reels youtube shorts it's easier that way because the link i have the link i sent in the uh in the chat did you send that in the chat leo uh, the link, the SST tick. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, you, it's, uh, there was Richard actually posted it. In the yeah. Area. Yeah. So, uh, that link helps 
from only works on TikTok. So you have to post on TikTok first. So I suggest everyone to, to download TikTok and make the TikTok account so you could just upload your videos on there and then repurpose them. So it's much easier for you guys. You want to make, you want, so pretty much if you make one video a day, you can repurpose it on four platforms. It gives you four times the exposure. Four Mm -hmm. times the exposure, guys. Yep, absolutely. And tell us a little bit about timing on a daily basis. Like how how long does it take you to to post you? I know that obviously now you have like earlier in the morning on some platforms, two o'clock in the afternoon on another platform. But as far as like your personally like on your calendar like how much time are you actually taking to create content give them give them a little insight on that all right so yeah we pretty much my family we uh we record two times a week and actually two to three times a week and we record for about four or five hours but we do multiple videos in one in one day so we could have it for the whole week so you don't really have to necessarily record every day you could do it once to twice a week, but you have to remember to post every day. That's the key. Post yeah. every day. So you're saying one batch, right? That's a great idea. One batch, you know, take a four or five hour day. That way you can have all your postings for the week. And, exactly. And obviously, are you guys using different outfits and all that good stuff? Does that even matter? Does As that matter? doesn't even matter. You know, That's you're, they're going to okay. see you. Yeah, yeah. So pretty much the for you page, they'll see you. They won't know if you're actually the same day you're posting you know what i mean so Mm. uh but that uh no need to change outfits but if it makes you feel better you can okay cool all right all right awesome awesome there was also a question here uh about followings uh bd said that it noticed a high increase in ig bot accounts how can we determine the legitimacy uh, legitimacy of the followers like how does that work or i don't know if that's something you could answer or not the regarding like um followers that was like the last question that was posed here i've noticed a high increase in ig bot accounts how can we determine it was uh honestly i i don't know how to answer that question i don't know if there's any bots or anything like that but um yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah i'm sure. sorry i can't i don't know how to answer that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe media if you want to unmute maybe if you if you have a little bit to add to that question um yeah the i guess my question is um like for us in real estate we actually um go we want to get in front of families in front of people who are looking to buy and i'm looking like i'm certain you know i get followers from all kinds of different and random accounts which increases the follow follower numbers but it's they're not legitimate clients that can potentially turn into business so is that something that pertains to you, Sammy? Is that something that you specifically look for or are you looking just for the following uh, for the benefits that the platforms have? Or because for us, we're kind of looking for clients. So at least that's what I on Instagram for. Yeah, well, uh, well, well, you know, I say, uh, you know, the bots, I don't, I, I don't know of too many like bots of like platforms having bots or anything like that, but uh I, all my followers are a uh, real and, you know, real people and stuff. So I don't know any, anything. Like um, that. I had, I had an account uh, reach out to me and he, they, he made it, he, I guess, kind of like um, buying, you know, they 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 were selling followers and likes oh, and yeah. all that stuff. Like two of my videos got like 20 K, which mostly don't get over 2000. So it's like, Whoa. Okay. But I know that this was a, an account that was, specifically meant to grow your following in that way so you know what, what do you have to say to those like i mean i didn't do it just because it doesn't look legitimate you know so how do you know how to those seem more like scams i would not pay any attention to those uh, dms i get all those dms i get a lot of those dms actually i would not pay attention to those uh, see like grow grow your following or anything like that it has to be original you have to grow yourself throughout the platform you can't buy your followers or anything like that i would not recommend doing that yeah that makes sense yeah because if not then the followers that are going to be following you after that are just going to be more robots right and they're not going to be real people right yeah but- the, you'll notice it in your views like say if this guy has like a hundred thousand followers right but he's only getting like 100 views like that doesn't really make sense in a way you know what i mean like okay you have a hundred thousand views where are your where are your people you know what i mean yeah. so that makes sense it, it just looks weird yep Totally, totally, totally. Absolutely, man. And 
what are I guess uh, as as you're you know kind of like if we're coming to a conclusion of this of this meeting like uh, I want everybody to walk away with a tremendous amount of value again you gave us a ton of value already which was you know being consistent it's repurposing the content it's you know being authentic being yourself building your personal brand um, actually there was another question here and then we'll get to the conclusion what is the greatest way to massively grow cross marketing with other people posting a lot or what are the top three habits there you go good question what's the greatest way to massively grow cross marketing with other people posting a lot or what's the top three habits? okay yeah like i said again uh we yeah the best way to grow on social media is definitely cross posting cross posting and and uh posting on uh, consistently with times and uh, what you know what your audience is and what your audience likes what your audience attracts you know so that's what I would recommend for that and does music matter on the reels uh actually I think it gives a nice twist on with music adding some music will like say if somebody liked the song right they loved how it uh, how it heard like they they heard the song before they liked the song they're going to watch your video just because they they hear the song, right? They're going to want to see, they're going to see what's what's going on in your video because the song sounds so nice, you know what I mean? So I find that use, using uh, music on Reels helps a lot, actually. Cool. That's awesome, brother. Yeah, and if anybody has a question right now, I want to open it up for Q&A, guys. I know you guys have been posting the questions on the chat. If you guys want to unmute yourself or raise your hand, uh, this would be an opportunity for you to ask a question right now. Let's go. All right, Tom. What's up, Tom? Hey, brother. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, bro. Thanks. Uh, I hear question. you. Actually. I can hear you. I can hear you only. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my I got my video. I'll, I'll try to cover here in a second. Okay, um, Sammy, you've got some crazy stuff that you're talking about here. Um, there you go. You can see me. Now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so, uh, two quick questions. One is regarding editing. Uh, will the Clips app work no matter what platform? I have an iPhone, obviously, so that'll work across the board. But uh, I don't use TikTok for a lot of reasons. I don't use TikTok, but I'm I'm trying to blast IG and uh, YouTube primarily because those are where YouTube has become a search engine, as you know. May not get as many eyes as TikTok, but I'm not trying to do dance videos. I'm trying to sell real estate and increase my following just in general. Yeah, uh, nothing wrong with dance videos. It's just not my thing. So, um, can I still grow without TikTok? Uh, because I I'm just not gonna be on the, that platform for just specific reasons, but. Um, it, 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 can I, can the clips app work for those? You, you said that the link that you, the SSS thing that was only for TikTok. So yeah. I can't use that for YouTube or Instagram or and uh, n n that for that link, you can't use for Instagram or YouTube. Uh, but you can, I think there's another Instagram one you can do for downloading TikTok, uh, from, for reels. I don't know if I have it though. Let me see. I haven't. I can try to see if I could pull up the link. But the Clips app will work no matter what, no matter what platform. That just, that just. Uh, yeah, works. yeah. That's just an editing app. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. That's not for downloading videos off your, off your profile. Okay. So once I, once I do the, the, uh, the, the real, the SSS one was for specifically for reels that you do after TikTok, you can repurpose it to reels for IG and Facebook and YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just posting on TikTok, you could download it you you per, you copy the link of the of the video of the video you posted on TikTok then you now put it insert it inside the SS tick then you uh download it from there then you repurpose it on your pl your platforms your IG reels your Facebook reels and your and YouTube it, shorts okay so if i'm not using TikTok i don't have to worry about removing that watermark but uh, is there another um, app that you had the, the, a link that maybe I can contact you later if that's better, but uh, to get to, if I don't use TikTok, but for IG, Facebook. Con and yeah, Facebook. contact me later. I could, I could see what I could do and pull it up. Actually, I think I have it here. Maybe I'll be able to put it in the chat. Thank you so much. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. And then if you can maybe drop it in the chat, Sammy and uh, Segun, we're going to go with you for the next question, just so we can keep everything on track. Thanks for asking the question, Tom. You're next, brother. Awesome. Hi, Sammy. I have a very specific question. So I've been trying to grow my TikTok for the last eight months. And when I first started, I was utilizing um, just trending sounds with uh, captions on it. And I was going more towards a comedy route. I had about three videos do really well. One got about 1.7 million views. Really? but 
I did not see a follower conversion there. And so a friend of mine who does fairly well on TikTok told me to stop going the comedy route and go more vlog style and do it. Uh, so I haven't seen my views grow from that, but I've been getting about 20 new followers a day since doing that structure. How do I merge the two? Because I want to still be growing in a view viewership rate, but I also want to gain more clients as well and followers. So what has helped better, uh, the vlogs or the uh, other videos you've been posting? I've gotten two buyers consultations and appointments from the vlogs. So I've got shopping clients from vl vlogs, but I get exponentially more views when I do like the comedy, uh, sounds, text type of route. I say, why not? Just mix the both. If, if both is working, why not? You know what I mean? Just keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? If, if it's both, if both of it's working and it's, it's helping your business grow, why not just keep posting, just keep do, being you pretty much keep po do, post what you feel like, or what works with you pretty much. If everything's working with you, I say, just keep posting. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get, I get, no, totally. I guess my question is, I'm wondering if there a better way to, because ideally what I would want is my TikTok videos to get me both clients and reach oh okay uh well you you kind of tell you you pretty much the if you want the reach the reach part is uh i i, I can't really answer that question because if you're not if you don't know what you've posted and you've gotten reach and and clients at the same time and you haven't gotten that but if you've gotten reach uh, I would say just keep posting the reach. Like you, who knows? It might keep uh, you might keep exploring to other options. You know, just keep trying a different way. Keep going a different route about it. Keep okay. you know what I mean. So keep keep actually keep keep at it is what I mean. Keep at it. see what works. See what will what will continue to get more views and just do it like that. Keep consistent. Be consistent as well. Okay. Okay. We'll do. Thank you. Said. Yeah, thank you for answering the asking the question. Say go. And I, I think it's a yeah, I think the, the it's a reach. It's kind of like the same thing, guys. What we do, and I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you in here have cold called, door knock, done open houses, right? You kind of the more door knocking you do, I don't know if you guys noticed, you guys get luckier. The more uh prospecting you do, you get luckier, right? The more open houses you do, you get luckier. So I think if you're getting more views. And then you're you're infusing it with your real estate content, then you're going to get luckier as a byproduct because you just got more eyeballs, right? So that's from my perspective. But great question. Uh, Sabrina, uh, let's go with your question. Hi, Leo. Thank you. So Sammy, my question is, um, so obviously kind of based on what Leo said, that it's all a matter of pros prospecting um, and just trying to see which method is the best way. So since you focus a lot on social media, actually have you... What's your conversion rate in terms of like the amount of um, influence you have translating to actually close transactions in real estate? Awesome. Uh, so I'm fairly new in the aspect of real estate, like just probably a couple of months new. And I've gotten a lot of leads from uh, a lot of leads. I haven't closed any transactions because I've, I've been fo more focused on my social media, but this year I'm going hard at it. So if yeah. that answered your question. I mean, it does because I'm. I do a lot of uh, open houses and door knocking, and I have done a lot of uh, closed transactions from that. And I do also do social media too. And I think I can only kind of probably in terms of closed transactions, probably in one hand from social media. So I'm just saying, you know, is it worth the effort of spending so much time doing that when it doesn't translate as well as other methods of prospecting? Awesome. So you you have you closed uh, transactions from social media? I have uh, three, well, like three or four transactions for the past five years, but versus like, you know, I've done a lot more on other methods. But have you been posting <laughs> a lot on social media? Have you every day, yeah. You post every day? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I say- I'm not late. That made me that times when, <laughs> but practically every day. I mean, uh, do you find, what what helps you? Which I feel like it doesn't hurt to post, right? On social media, it, it doesn't hurt to gain prospects. It doesn't hurt because- most of our most of us right now these days we're on our phone right we're on our phone 24 7 we're on instagram we're scrolling through instagram seeing what what is posted and what you know what i mean so anyways i say just keep 
posting you know why not you know what i mean oh, yeah. Why not? yeah no i mean yes it doesn't hurt for sure but it's just a matter of time right like you know what you put your energy on you know if you spend your time on social media then obviously some of that time is not allocated to other methods of prospecting so it's just kind of like considering you're really good at social media aspect i would love to see how that translates in terms of post transactions yeah oh. absolutely yeah i think i think uh, sabrina just a. Uh, just to say that, I, I definitely think it's gonna kind of like everything else, right? I've been in real, real estate 17 years, right? And first like 10 years, I didn't, I had no social media, like 10, 12 years actually, no social media whatsoever. So I did open houses, I did cold calling, I did I did everything under the sun that you could. And then I started infusing uh, social media. So I think that doing, and this is what my coach told me from the very beginning, you gotta do multiple things, right? Because you never know, right? If you get one client, like for me, I got one client out of an open house that led me to 550 transactions. You can get one client, right? From social media that might lead you to hundred clients, right? So I, I think from operating from that premise, right? Just from my perspective, I think it's the way to go for sure. But thank you for asking the question. And Ms. Alondra, you're next. Hi, I just had a really quick question. Do you recommend keeping your Instagram um, personal or business? Because there's, you know how it gives you the two options. And the only reason why I ask that is because on my business, it will show me like the actual account that it reached, like um, if it was shared or, or if it was saved. Uh, what do you recommend to keeping it business? Because I know that if you keep it a business, you are kind of limited at to as to what songs you could add to your reels. So that's kind of why I'm, I was asking this question because I want to add different types of songs, but it doesn't allow me to do it because the certain criteria that that you are allowed to do. Absolutely, Sammy, you want to answer it? Or have any? Yeah. That? Uh, yeah. So I recommend because the business side it does show you the analytics you know what i mean i i recommend sticking with the business uh post posting on the business because it shows you the analytics it shows you how many times it's been shared you know what i mean so i say why not you know work, work uh keep with the business because it, it shows you what works what works with the the videos you're posting right yeah thank you I have a i think i have a creator account right that's, yeah, what, that's it, what i have is a creator yeah, account a creator. I, don't, I don't I don't know if that's considered a business account or not, but uh, that's what I have is the creator account. So yeah, I yeah, want to make sure that you guys are doing the creator account for sure. I think there's there might be a difference. I'm not 100 percent sure, but that's the way to do it. The way Sammy's doing it. That's the way that I'm doing it. Do the creator because it does give you the analytics of the views and it even tells you, hey, most of your audience is engaging at 12 o'clock. You should be posting. So that way it kind of gives you the insight on that as well. Very good question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it shows you the insights. I don't know if anyone has been invited to the, the, the Instagram bonus program. Have you guys been invited to that? Instagram bonus program. Look at No, I have not, bro. <laughs> well, you haven't. <laughs> I okay, didn't get so, to the party. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pretty much Instagram pays uh, people to post on, on Reels. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's called the Instagram bonus reel program. Uh, they, they actually pull they for what with me, they, they pay me 8500 a month, but you have to hit a certain amount of views, eight, say 88 uh, million views, something like 88 million views, but you don't all, always hit that number, but you do what you can and they pay you whatever, you know what I mean? So but I don't, they have to invite you that Instagram has to invite you to the program, but that's why you, you guys have to keep being more consistent, yeah. be more consistent when you're posting and stuff. Yeah. Yep. 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 Very cool. Very cool, man. Very good stuff. All right, guys, any other questions you guys may have for Sammy? One of the, we're going to be concluding the conversation here in about six minutes. want to be mindful of everybody's time. So um, any other questions that you guys are thinking about that you would like to ask, uh, this would be the moment of opportunity um and the bonus program now you mentioned that i i have gotten the little things where you can click on it and you can opt into it right you have to hit a certain number by a certain time and i haven't won any of the bonuses but but i'm i opted into it <laughs> oh so you do have the bonus program yes i do i do awesome. yeah. yeah 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 now that i remember when you said it i was like oh, okay why well, i have gotten that it says do you, would you like to get into the bonus program but yes it, it's always like a super large amount of views um but definitely yeah i've had that before so how many views or followers do we need to get involved with the bonus program 
Do you do you have any idea about that? How it works? I I, I don't for that information. I have no idea actually. Got it. All right. I'm guessing maybe a thousand, maybe yeah. to start. Maybe yeah. I have no idea to be honest. Because yeah, I've been getting like a thousand. Like I, I only get about a thousand views or nine hundred views on my reels on average, and I I got invited into it. So see, Mr. Daniel, I just created a reel and posted it on IG, Facebook, and YouTube in the last 20 minutes. Boom. There we go. Well, yeah. that's what you like to hear. <laughs> wow. That's what I'm talking about. Let's Thank you, brother. Going. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes. You know, Gary V some, said something the other day, and I, and I kind of say it. I've been saying it every day right now because I really believe this, guys. Negativity is only winning because they're better marketers. They're only winning because they're never they're, they're better marketers, right? If you have a positive message, you got something positive with your heart, share it. Stop. Get out of your own way. Get out of like, how many views am I going to get? Am I going to monetize? If you got one video view from one human being and their life is better because of that one view, that's worth it for me. That's how I operate. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I post. Like, I'm like, I got that one person. If that one person's life is better because of watching that one video, I'm going to spend time doing it. And my other thing that I do, you got to be willing to do it badly to become great at it, right? You didn't start off doing open houses perfectly. You didn't drive your car perfectly the first time around. I mean, I didn't even tie my shoelaces right when I was a kid, right? Like it's all the stuff that we take for granted nowadays. We did it really badly at one point. So I just want to encourage you guys to take the breaks off of content creation, get creative. And if you guys are not using uh, chat GTP, if you guys are not using it, I keep talking about this as well. Use ChatGTP. I don't know if you've, you've, you've dived into it at all, Sammy. Have you used ChatGTP at all? No, I have not, actually. Dude, game changer. I'm about to do a class on this tomorrow. You guys got to all be there. I'm going to be doing an AI class because if you guys are concerned, what kind of videos do I post, right? I am going to give you guys, like, in, in less than 10 minutes, you guys are going to have scripts for every single thing that you can possibly imagine like this. And I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing it. Leo, My can you share the link for that? Because I've heard about chat GTP, but I haven't been using it. I know nothing about it. So I'm anxious to hear what you have to say. Bro, this thing is going to be fire. I'm going to be going on for an hour and crushing it. So let me let me drop the link in here. Miss Terry, I don't know if you have it in front of you. Miss Terry is our director of operations and she's in the chat. Let me see. Miss Terry, I don't know if you have the, the link here. If you're or in the chat. GPT? Yeah, the one that the AI class that I'm doing tomorrow. Oh, I do. Give me a sec. Yeah, you guys got to make the clock calendar. <clears throat> yeah, it's in the calendar as well. But guys, you got to make it to that class. I'm going to be diving in. You guys are going to have after tomorrow, you apply everything I tell you tomorrow, you will have content for years. Like guaranteed. I know Richard, Richard's already applying some of the stuff he's got. He can't even sleep. He's like team no sleep over here because you're so excited about creating all this stuff. And now, and now, uh, so I'm going to be sharing about it tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So I don't know if you dropped into the chat. Yes, there. I already dropped it in the chat. Cool. Guys, register for that class. It's called Super Agent AI. It's going to be lit. I'm going to bring you the heat. Invite your friends to it. Um, I just want to say, Sammy, thank you so much for your time, bro. Thank you for uh, sharing. Um, I, 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 uh, always see your videos on all the different platforms. It always makes me laugh. It's always uplifting. I love to see how you are with your family. So thank you for being you. Thank you for contributing and thank you for sharing. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. For for having sure. me. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, man. And thank you guys all for being here as well. I really appreciate your time. God bless you all. And I'll see you tomorrow. Awesome. Take care, Leo. We'll see you guys. All right. Bye guys. Thank Bye. you.